Happy Monday, everybody. It's me, Shannon Miller. And um, I wanted to come here today and um, talk about aprons. I've had a couple of you ask me when I was out cleaning how I could clean a thousand square feet in an hour. And it was just grooming and conditioning. But there are certain things that you can do to make yourself faster. And one of those, I'm going to step up here, is um, hopefully you can see it. I'm going to pull it up. Um, I like to wear mine on my hips, but this is actually a speed clean apron. I don't know if you can see it, but it actually is, maybe we can tilt the camera a little lower. We'll just step up. Um, it has, it's embroidered from my old company name. And I'm going to describe the ingredients or supplies that I carried in my apron when I cleaned. So you can see that um, normally I like to wear it on my hips because it just makes it easier for me when I was cleaning. So these are Hucka cloths. Hucka cloths come from the Rag Lady. It's a nice material. Um, you can actually just use water and the cloth to clean. You don't need Windex at all. So um, those would be for mirrors, um, faucets, anything, glass, glass shower doors, anything that you want to make actual shiny. I, I always wear two when I was cleaning. Then um, we had a, I don't know if you can see it. I had this all set up in my husband. Hi, I don't know who's there. My husband came home for lunch today of all days, right? <laughs> it's always when you're set up to do a live and he's like, what are you doing? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm getting ready to go live. So um, I just take a quart bag and two binder clips and I actually will fasten this to the apron. And um, usually this is dumped daily but anything that you come across when you're cleaning or you're out vacuuming and you picked up a piece of lint from somewhere just put it in there behind there i have my infamous window scraping knife and i'm see if i can get it out um i have it so the dull side is facing out you don't want to obviously have the blade open when you have it and they um unassemble and reassemble really quickly you can get these right off amazon they're about seven bucks uh, I carry a couple of mop heads when I get ready to mop. That way I'm not running back to my kit all the time. So I use the flat mop system. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, but that's um, really handy to make my life simple. Yellow microfibers, you can get these uh, right from Costco. And usually um, two per home is what I use for one wet and one dry from when I'm wiping instead of feather dusting. And those would go here. Um, a lot of people have asked me what I use for whites. You can buy um, these used at any estate sale. You can go right to Walmart and buy the washcloths. Um, you can have someone sew them for you. Or you can take a towel. This is unsewn, obviously. You can take a towel and have someone sew um, a seam for you. Maybe you have an aunt or a grandma that might be able to do that. And you can see that I even have a colored washcloth in here. Um, some people um, are OCD and can't handle the cloths when they're not um, sewn. So that's entirely up to you. Toothbrush, you should technically have two toothbrushes, one white, one red, but this one's just for this video. Um, toothbrush to scrape up something that you might see in the corner, to buff out the faucet. Remember, two toothbrushes, one for the toilet, one for non-toilet items. Your feather duster, right? Um, this is an old beat up Libman. They're about 10 bucks, you can get them at Walmart, Fry, Smith's, any grocery store. And remember when you're dusting, you're dusting to grab the dust and you're tapping with your foot. So um, dusting takes practice and there is a technique. And um, that's all that I'm carrying inside of my apron. That way I'm not going back to my kit constantly to get items. And then we can talk about what I carry. I don't actually carry a full wet kit. Like I've seen some of you guys have suitcases. So um, obviously two cups in the buckets so i'm carrying um, two buckets right so you can actually have your logo put on here these are old from K castle keeper cleaning so um two cups you can get these anywhere jack in the box five you can see five guys is here and no product endorsement by the way so um one cup is a toilet cup and one cup is a rinsey cup for your shower um this is the window for your showers can do this i've um becky uh becky gates from housekeepers of america uses these on kitchen counters uh to help dry and then um 
these are old bottles that I had. These are 32 ounce bottles. So this actually is window cleaner and I don't carry window cleaner in my kit any longer, but I'm showing this as an example. So if you had to actually make a label because of OSHA, you can just um, photocopy this and it's flammable, hypothetically speaking. Um, and that would get you past the OSHA inspection. Um, I grabbed this bottle because this shows you that you can just take this size, um, the 70% rubbing alcohol, stick a, um, a squirt, squirt attachment on there and you can actually use this as a bottle. But the label would be incorrect because this is actually, I don't know if you can see me, the light is kind of funky. This is actually 70% alcohol and white vinegar. So, um, and then here is another bottle here and this is Sal Suds. I don't know if you can see it. I think with the video is probably backwards and here we'll fix that real quick so that you guys can see it. So um, this is Sal, let's get right in, <laughs> right in front of the camera. So this is Sal Suds and Water Mix 50-50. This is my multi-purpose spray. So I'm literally only carrying the Sal Suds, the um, rubbing alcohol. I don't know if you can see that, the light's kind of off and white vinegar right here. And then um, I couldn't find a small bottle with a label on it, but everyone was asking me, See if I can do that. What I'm using for the um, actual bathrooms, and it's called Scum Bomb. You can get it from Speed Cleaning for the Pros. You can actually use this in the kitchen as well. Just remember it is an acid and it can eat or stain things. You have to be really careful with it. So um, when you have the bottle, I usually keep it in a cup and I put it like this on a cloth so that I'm not gonna accidentally leave a ring on someone's carpet. So um, I, usually we carry these 16 ounce bottles, not these really large ones. I just grab these for um, showing you guys. And then obviously the Puma Stone toilet brush and then the long fingered brush. I know you guys have all heard me talk about this. You can get these at Home Depot. Um, it's an HDX. I don't know if you can see that. Um, these are great for cleaning your bathrooms. Just spray the scum bum, go around in circles and it rinses like a champ, so you, you won't miss that at all. But these are just some basic items that you would need. You don't need to carry a full, I mean, I've seen people come in with suitcases. Um, you just need two poles, one for a high duster and one for a flat mop. You need a porter vac, and preferably you're using the client's actual vacuum at this point. Sometimes you're not. It could be um, a good time now. I'm going to step back here. Maybe I can, I'm squeezing back here with my husband's plumbing stuff mixed in with the camera stuff. It's actually pretty hilarious. So yeah, it's super important that you try to carry the minimal amount of stuff because you have your girls out there, they're going from their car to a house, loading back up in their car to another house. And if they're superstars, then they're doing a third house. And that's six times in and out. You wanna make it as easy for them not to forget. Uh, the 16 ounce bottles I like, these are actually um, hairdresser bottles. I liked them because they didn't show the chemical. They typically don't leak. And this one, as you can see, has been through the ringer multiple times. They do crack after a while. So those are important items for you to consider when you are putting your kit together. Um, people had asked me how I'm cleaning so fast. So top to bottom, left to right, don't over clean. So if you have a tub, for example, in a master bathroom and you are it hasn't been used because you've checked it, right? It's it's smooth as a baby's bottom. You're just gonna rinse it because you wanna keep that pee trap wet, right? So those are important things to kind of help. Like we don't dry tubs, we'll dry the top of the tubs. We actually don't dry showers. We only will clean the glass. We'll dry the glass and the faucet. Um, bathroom counters, you have to kind of dry all those. If there's a lot of items on the bathroom counters, there, remember the 70% clutter rule, that's really important as well because you don't want to have to lift and wipe if they have like 50,000 pieces of cosmetics sitting on their bathroom counter. So <laughs> that can be really tedious unless you're billing it in. If it's something that's really important to them and they've been billed for it, by all means, clean it. Um, those types of things. With the floor, um, flat mop system is the most efficient way to get the most debris off of the floor. If they want their floor steam mop, that's an additional $75 added to their bill. I personally don't like the steam mop. It's labor intensive and you have to go over it with a flat mop anyway because the steam mop, you have to go forward, right? You can't really go backwards. And then it's like being in a sauna and you're all sweaty and your makeup is all runny and it's just kind of one of those things. So if you're gonna have to suffer through a steaming, you might as well get paid for it. 
So um, those are some of the things that I use to um, make myself faster when I was a cleaner. I got even put on a uniform shirt for you. <laughs> I look forward to um, having your questions answered and I have one spot available on my schedule. And um, I have a big announcement that is coming up in the mentorship program. I'm going to offer one mentorship program this year and um, it will be a $2,000 mentorship and there's going to be an application process and it'll be open to people who have not been through the mentorship program in the past so um, so that we have fresh people have the opportunity to work with me one on one and um, we'll get the application process and the questionnaire over to you when you request it. So um, if you are interested in the mentorship just put um, hashtag mentorship in the comments below and I will go ahead and get you an application. I think we're going to open up the application process tomorrow or Wednesday. I have to actually look. How do you feel about the Mali vacuum? <clears throat> they're supposed to be the best in the industry, but they're really not um, commercial friendly. They're kind of bulky and you're kind of running around trying to vacuum someone's house with this thing. It's, it's basically like torture, right? <laughs> you've got a canister vacuum unless you have an upright and the uprights are really heavy from what I have found unless they've come out with something that's super duper light you know shark seems to be the um the top of the top tier of the vacuums when there comes to lightweight and cordless and then there's cordless when I purchased a vacuum on Black Friday I actually purchased a cord corded vacuum I, I got a shark and I really love it and it's um I was 300 bucks and I got it for a hundred dollars off because they ran out at Target and he sold it to me at the discounted price. Who's going to turn that down? So the Malays are fine, um, but they're kind of cumbersome and they're it's, it's like the Kirby's or the rainbow vacuums, right? Those are great products. They're just not commercial friendly. You, you, it takes you twice the amount of time to vacuum and, and you're not there for a leisurely pace. You're there to get in and out. So that is my honest opinion of it. Well, I look forward to, talking to you guys later. You guys have a fabulous week. You take care. Let's see if we can turn this puppy off.